the strict criteria, which I think is where people get confused sometimes, which is that if you have five employees or more, then you have a legal obligation to have written risk assessments. If you have less than five employees, you still have to actually carry out the risk assessments. You're still legally obliged to do so. The only difference is it doesn't have to be written down. I think here at the DCBN, we would say that by the time you've done the risk assessment, you may as well write it down and then you're covering all bases. But the technicality of the law is you don't actually have to write it down, but you still have to do the risk assessment. And there are big consequences for not meeting your obligations. So first of all, it's a criminal offence. It's not a civil offence. It's a criminal offence to breach health and safety regulations. There are large fines that you can get. If it's a serious breach, you can actually get a prison sentence because it's a criminal offence. You could also have a claim against your business. You could obviously incur damage to your reputation and perhaps damage yours or somebody else's health, which has long term consequences. So this is really serious. And that's one of the reasons why we run this Cleaning Safely workshop is to protect you, other people and your business and make sure everything's being done properly to keep you all safe.